Hello and good morning. My name is Nicholas Felix. And I'm Christine Guevara. And this is BGTV. Let's start off with the morning announcements. We'd like to remind all students that have parking spots that if they would please place their parking tag on the rear view mirror with the number facing the street so that Mr. Ramo could come by and check numbers. They will be checking for this, so please make sure you do this. We'd also like to congratulate our cross-country runners in the UT Tyler meet. Our girls came in second place and our boys in third place. And we'd also like to remind our crew that tonight is military night, which means that you need to either wear red, white, or blue, or camo. Now, as you may all know, today marks the 14th anniversary of 9-11. Nearly 3,000 lives were lost when two hijacked planes were flown into the World Trade Center. I ask that you all may join me in a moment of silence for those lives lost so that we may, in the words of St. Pope John Paul the Great, join in commending the victims of this shocking tragedy to Almighty God's eternal love. Let us implore his comfort upon the injured, the families involved, all who are doing their utmost to rescue survivors and help those affected. And now it's time for athletics. Tonight is military night, and here's the scoop on that. So Coach Sherrick Tizek sending them to the community. Invitations to anyone that's been in the military to come down to the track before the game and be acknowledged and then we're going to play what's called the um, military service medley which is all the service songs and then it will be like a parade um, of those current servicemen and women and those veterans. Awesome. Uh, I think it's really uh, awesome to host uh, Troop number one because they're their coach is the, he's the third leading uh, coach in the state of Texas in high school football history in terms of how many wins he has. So he's a legend of Texas high school football. And then uh, to be able to honor the people that have served in the military, and uh, it will be a really special night to be a Gorman. We want to remind you that the ceremony starts at 7 and kickoff is at 7.30. Good luck to our team, and we want to thank all active and retired military for their service to our country. As you may recall, Students taking the June 6, 2015 SAT found that they had five minutes less than usual to complete two of the ten sections because of an error in the test. So College Board decided to not score those last sections. This left many students feeling as if they had completely wasted their time waking up early on a Saturday morning. But this still did not stop our very own Joseph Malari, who scored a perfect 800 on his English section. Congratulations to Joe for his wonderful score. It's time for our arts. Today we'll be highlighting some exciting developments in the drama class. We caught up with Ms. Doremo. Take a look. Oh, well, we have a lot of opportunities coming up this year. First thing that we have on our schedule is the TAPS one act play, um, and that is a competition. It has already been cast, so I know a lot of people audition for it. it we're using a big cast this year. And then, of course, the um, uh, musical. Uh, we have the musical, which is open, again, to all Gorman students. This year is going to be Cinderella. So we have the rights to that, and it's going to be a great show. Uh, one other thing that's coming up just around the corner is the talent show. Um, I'm actually going to be one of the judges, so, uh, but that's a great thing, and there's still time to sign up. So... Um, if you are interested at all in showing off your talent, you should definitely be in the talent show. It's called Gorman's Got Talent. So that is, I believe, on the 18th of September. Auditions are this week, Thursday and Friday. Today's saint of the day is Saint Adelphus, Bishop of Metz, who lived in the 6th and 7th centuries in what is today France. Legend has it that when a band of thirsty pilgrims prayed for his intercession as they journeyed to his tomb in Metz. Their empty pot of beer was miraculously filled so that their thirst was quenched for the pilgrimage. In other news, Bishop Carada, third bishop of Tyler, has come back to Tyler to visit. 
This week, I caught up with him. Let's see what he has to say. As some of you know, Bishop Parada was our third bishop here in the Diocese of Tyler. And um, we're here sitting with him today to get a little information about his background, um, his episcopacy, uh, being the office of bishop that he holds, and then talk a little bit about vocations. Yes. So. Well, I'm Bishop Curada. I was born in Puerto Rico. At 18, I left Puerto Rico and went to New York City. I, there I joined the Jesuit order a, in the Catholic Church. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who is coming this month to the States, is also a Jesuit. When I saw him in Rome in the month of June, he said, we are of the same team. So I was very proud of that. <laughs> and then in the year 2000, I was asked by St. John Paul II, who was then the Pope in Rome, to become the Bishop of Tyler, Texas, the third bishop. And it was Pope Benedict who asked me to go back to Puerto Rico. When I came here, I was delighted to find a, this school, Gorman School here. You have a, you are a wonderful school. To me, to support the school with Mr. Friends, the faculty, all the parents, it's just a joy. Gorman is part of that root the rootedness of the Catholic Church is in education of men and women, the education of the young, as you are, and education not only in the faith, but education in every aspect of life. As many know, and if you do not know, the uh, bishop is celebrating his 30th anniversary to the Episcopacy, and uh, we just wanted to hear from you if you've got a favorite story or uh, something you'd like to tell the students. Well, when I came to Tyler, I had a wonderful experience. I went up to a parish, uh, to Gilmer, to the same mass when I arrived. And a little boy, he must have been around six, seven, was all dressed up and with his guns and everything. <laughs> and he came up to me and answered me, are you the bishop? Yes, I am the bishop. Are you the bishop of Tyler? Yeah, I am the bishop. I am the bishop here. He told me, I said, of course you are. With those guns, I wouldn't dare say anything else. Hello, children of God. Let's talk politics. Good news, the polls are in. Felix, our president, has a 65% approval rating somehow. How does he get 65% approval rating? Okay, whatever, okay. He's 6%, only 6% of people disapprove of him. I think I'd make a better president. Let's go on. Uh, okay, Will Morales, who is our crew leader, doing a fine job in my opinion, 50% of people approve him. What is that, about half? That's Okay, that's half. That's half of the people. Half of the people approve of him. Okay, down 25, is it a five? 25% of people. Well, what is it? It's a quarter, right? Quarter of people. Like, if you have a dollar and you take three quarters out, one of those quarters are the amount of people who disapprove of Will. I like the guy. I don't know. If, okay, let's not get into... Okay. This is the part that floors me. I don't know, okay? It says Wheeler, who is our vice president of the whole school. It's a big job, by the way. Lots of hardship that goes into it. 28% undecided. What does undecided mean? Why is that even a thing? I mean, there's approved, disapproved. Nobody's gotten undecided, but I'm undecided. What is undecided? Like, who even came up with this? That's it. I'm done. I'm gone. Well, that about wraps it up for today. I'm Christine Guevara. And I'm Nicholas Felix, and we'll see you next week. Hold on, I have an idea. <laughs>